Right. Alright, gentlemen. In today's video, I will be explaining why I hate Lanky Box. But before I do, please be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And follow me on Twitch if you want. Alright, gentlemen. Kids' channel on YouTube are pretty much cancerous content at this point. Some channels are about to scam you that you're gonna win an iphone 15 others are just gonna scream the top of their lungs into your face even though there is nothing happened in in the video in today's kit channels we were going to look into no it's not blues clues or the ace family video okay no it's called lanky box and if you might remember like probably like a few months ago or maybe like a year by now i made a video about lanky box but that's just simply me titling why i don't like family friendly channels now this is full on why i don't like this channel and also if you remember back in the day uh lanky box also made the video kind of you know low uh, what low budget music videos will look like which i must admit some of it is pretty funny and others i uh, just simply just want to throw myself off the, into a five-story building i don't understand how they can make this funny low budget what low budget music video look like to when into a devolving disgustingly kids channel only designed to make money now if you look in, into the videos that they made they post six to eight videos a day which i gotta admit it's very consistent but also very concerning because i don't think ever natural human being will get up and record every single time six or maybe eight videos a day they all have a lot of team of e editors in there as well maybe not five to six maybe even 30 to 35 at least team of e editors if they are willing to to do this if they are le legitimately trying to put content every single day at least six to eight oh my god i don't think even five editors can manage that in a single day i'm also like gonna keep asking myself that how the fuck they never get bored doing this like if you look any single youtuber on the planet ever they usually they make a content you know for the past 10 years you know they made the, the the type of content that they always wanted to make but then all of a sudden they just walk through the camera you know try to uh fix the angle of the camera and then with the microphone with a deep sigh and saying to to the camera i'm gonna take a month break you, you know the, you know the, do you not see all right every single youtuber always do that even including me of course every single youtuber do that but for some reason that these two never did these two never did if you click one of the videos i don't know whether to draw the line between a kitty show or an actual cringe fest if you click one, one of the videos i can already tell that which you know the main demographic they are trying to please but at the same time that main de demographic they're trying to please probably is going to be suffering a brain hemorrhage every single second no matter anything happening in the video even though there's nothing happening into the video they will use a sound effect at all they will use any sound effect known to man and on top of that they're always going to scream the top of their lungs just to you know keep the kids uh, entertained and most probability of buying their merch i will get into their merch in a second but the individuals that are running the channel are bold and like confounded their behavior actually convinced me that when they were younger they were actually were molested by a guy with down syndrome so now the merchandise i don't know what to start when it comes to merchandise because usually youtuber merchandise are all always overpriced that by me nitpicking saying that hey this lanky box merchandise is actually overpriced it's kind of despicable of me by just you know me simply pointing out that hey this merchandise is very expensive when other youtubers merchandise is also expensive and overpriced as well but but here's the thing uh i don't think that this type of pricing would apply to this type of product and also when i click into the store i gotta uh, i gotta respect them for the hustle though because there is a lot of merchandise that you can buy I'm also flabbergasted that they have this much merchandise that they are ready to sell. I ain't even mad about it. <laughs> I just respect the hustle that they do. For example, this hoodie right here. There was one hoodie alone can feed three families in Africa that can sustain them for five months. I don't know anymore, man. This, uh, I, 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 I'm, uh, I'm actually done. <laughs> so in conclusion, gentlemen, what this shit, what you're seeing here, this is fucked up. And yeah, I believe that's just about it.
please be sure to leave a like and subscribe and comment down below what do you guys think about lanky box here and yeah i'll be just about it boys brett